Hey there, I'm Harry and welcome to Think Fresh, your ultimate uni survival guide. Today's theme, art. We've got a great show lined up for you today, including an exclusive interview with a real film director from right here at Bath Spa. Our resident reporter Amanda is giving us the weekly student weather report, and James the Swan is here to reminisce about the great poems of 2016. But first, let's talk about tonight's theme. Art is expressed in many forms. Painting, poetry, photography, and of course, home decoration. In tonight's first segment, Pimp My Halls! <coughs> Each week, we bring in a new unsuspecting fresher and turn their small, dingy room into a student paradise. So, everyone put your hands together for Steve! Hello. So, Steve, you moved in a few months ago, I'm told. Yes, I moved in about three months ago. Okay. So, tell me, what were your first thoughts about your accommodation? Well, the most annoying thing was the maintenance team. I mean, they come to clean and they expect you to clean before they arrive, which is so annoying. Okay, well, about the room itself, what would you have changed when you first moved in if you could have? Well, since we we're paying so much, I was expecting a double bed and I have a single bed. Also, I would have liked a TV because I cannot afford one, you know, stuff like that. Okay, well, tell me a little about the ensuite, if you had one, of course. No, cannot afford one. I have to share a bathroom with five, six people, which can be very disgusting. Well, it's your lucky day because our crew have gone to your home and we have pimped your halls. Let's take a look at what your room looked like beforehand. Ah, I see. I, I can see a lot of pizza boxes around. Student life, eh? Um, also, you appear to be a smoker. Quitting on Monday, hopefully. Good for you. Now, what is the I hate you five about? Well, everyone knows there's nothing Bath Spa students hate more than the bus service. Very true. Right. Let's take a look at your room after we pimped it. Right. You can see here we've added in your plasma TV. You have a microwave and an oven. Two computers and two games consoles with an array of games for you to play. You also have a fridge, and a Mini Cooper. This is a joke, right? I don't joke. That's clearly Photoshop. I mean, that control is floating in the air. Round of applause for Steve, please. <laughs> what a lucky guy. Okay. And that could be you next week. Just write into the show with your name, address, and mother's maiden name. Now we're going to check in with Amanda with this week's fresh weather. Sorry I'm late. You know how it is, buses. Fucking you five. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to the upcoming day for students with fresh weather. This morning we're expecting a parade of 9am students coming in from the north and south of campus. So please be wary not to hit them with your cars. Some of them may have trouble seeing before the first coffee of the morning and others are just standing there hoping someone will hit them. Kids. It may get you enough compensation to pay off your debts, but it's just not worth it. It was cool when James the Swan did it, but you're just causing traffic. Stop. After the daily morning congestion, the weather may take a turn for the worse. That's right, folks. We're sensing rain nearby. Are you serious, rain? This is the fourth time this week. The weather. We mean the weather. F off. <laughs> Where were we? Right, in the evening after the storm clears, there is a ray of sunshine on the horizon, the sesh. Our experts are predicting two for one Jaeger bombs <laughs> and someone pu- Is any of this actually a weather report? F it, I'm done. I didn't go through four years of drama school for this shit. F you spot, I'm out. 
Okay, uh, moving on. This week, we have a new up-and-coming artist from the Bar Spa creative community. He's come in to show us what he's been working on. So, I'm delighted to introduce our award-winning director, William Stitchcock, on the show. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here, Will. Willie. Pardon? Prefer Willie, if you must abbreviate my name. Thank you. Right you are, Willie. Well, you're here to show us an extract from your film, Trouble in Santa Monica. That's right. This is the world premiere. Well, let's take a look. Where were you last night? I was with someone else. What? With who? Sarah. My best friend. No. Your sister. You play her! How dare you! So, that was the film that got nominated for a BSU Film Award? Well, yes, it was put forward to be considered. We've submitted it to Khan. We're just waiting to hear back any day now. You told our researchers that it had been nominated. It should have been nominated. My friend Oscar loved it. He wants to be a film critic. OK. Well, why don't you tell me a bit about the film? I'd love to. I see Trouble in Santa Monica as an homage to the golden age of cinema, drawing on the likes of Orson Welles, Hitchcock, Michael Bay. It, it's a, it's a character-driven drama with nuances of the, of the horror genre interwoven, creating the most multifaceted, genre-bending masterpiece of our time. But what is the film actually about? Something you and I can relate to, something that the average person feels on a daily basis, namely what it's like to be trapped in a love triangle with one's girlfriend and her nymphomaniac sister. Well, here's what the cast thought about the shoot. What did you think of the director? Um, I didn't really like him to be fair. He was, he was a fool. Yeah, he was really like weird. He would go up to people behind their like heads and he would like whisper in their ear. I did it because I needed the experience and the money, but I haven't even been paid for this. I've heard other people have been paid, but I have no money. But uh, I don't know where you got that, but that's, that's fake news. Are you a Philistine? An absolute Philistine. I guess he had places to be. Well, to close the show tonight, we're going to our favorite bundle of feathers. You know him and love him. It's James the Swan. Hello, hello everyone. Yes, yes, it's me. I know. <laughs> this evening, I thought we'd take a trip down memory lane together. We're looking at the great poetry of the year gone by. As you see, in my humblest of opinions, great poetry is written anonymously and then judged by strangers upvoting it until it's at the top of people's feeds. That, my friends, is true poetry. So we'll be looking back on 2016's greatest yik yak posts. We'll start with this one. Thank you, student loans, for getting me through university. I don't think I can ever repay you. <laughs> I think their bill was probably much bigger than mine. It annoys me that engineering students can call themselves engineers. You don't hear medical students calling themselves doctors, or art students calling themselves unemployed. <laughs> Ooh, is that too real? Uh, I felt some people wince in the room here. <clears throat> College is easy. It's like riding a bike. Except the bike's on fire, and the ground's on fire, and everything's on fire, and you're in hell. And on that note, thank you all for listening. Good luck with your degrees or whatever you do, etc., etc. <laughs> Until the next time. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Good luck out there, and remember to think fresh. Good night. <laughs>